What's up guys? Let's talk about the best way to store your defensive shotgun in your home. Now at some point we all struggle with this decision. I want to have my shotgun ready if someone's breaking into my house, but I also want it locked up so my kids can't get to it. Unfortunately, most of us end up doing one or the other. Either we'll just lean it up against the wall behind the door, or we'll lock it up in the safe where we can't easily get to it. Now let's go inside and I'll show you what I came up with to solve the problem. Alright guys, this is the Shotlock Shotgun Solo Vault. They run about 120 bucks, and if you want to get one for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below. Now they make these in a couple different versions. There's an electric version and a mechanical version. Uh, I went with the mechanical version because I like the idea of never having to rely on batteries. They also make one for a pistol and one for an AR-15. Now all the shot lock vaults are made of a military grade 14 gauge steel. It's got what they call a no pry lid so it's hard for people to pry it open and it has double internal locking hooks right here. It also comes with two trigger blocks that are mainly supposed to be used with the semi-automatic shotgun but the way that works is they'll go in like this right here and your trigger guard fits right in there and that's what holds the shotgun up. The other option is an ejection port hanger that goes like this and your ejection port fits over that to hold the shotgun in place. Now I mentioned I went with the mechanical version that has over 1500 four digit combination possibilities and it doesn't rely on batteries. What that means is this thing is always going to work. Your combination is always going to open the vault and you never have to worry about forgetting to replace the batteries. And as you can see, there are plenty of mounting holes in the back, so you can mount it pretty much anywhere. And the mechanism is really simple to operate. You just put in your combination, turn it to open, and it opens right up. When you close it, turn it to lock, and it won't go. And just in case for some reason you forget your combination, it does come with three override keys. I'm obviously not going to show you what my combination is. I'm just using the default combination. You can change it to whatever combination you want to. Now I went with the trigger blocks, even though I have a pump shotgun. And we'll go over why I did that in a little bit. But first, let me show you a problem you're going to run into. If you have a side saddle on your shotgun, like I do, this thing's not going to work. It's not going to close all the way because of that side saddle. Now from what I've read this is a pretty common problem with people that want to use the shot lock but they also want to have a side saddle on their shotgun. But don't worry I got the solution for you. Unfortunately guys we did have to take off the shell holder part of the tag star. But what that left us with is this perfectly flat plate to apply one of the most tactical tools known to man. Velcro. We just have to apply some loop Velcro on the plate and some on the exterior door of the shot lock. What that allows you to do is use one of these Velcro shotgun cards. I got this one from SOE Gear. Now all you do is slap one of your loaded shotgun cards on the outside of the shot lock. That's not going anywhere. Now when you unlock the shot lock and pull your shotgun out, rip it off of here, set it on the side of your shotgun, and you're good to go. Problem solved. Now just to show you that this is going to work, let's put our shotgun card back on the shot lock, open her up, and set the shotgun in place. And there you go. Closed up tight. And once you've decided where you want to mount your shot lock, just follow the install instructions and now you have a safe way to store your shotgun that still gives you easy access when you need it. I've also mounted a light right here because we all know whenever that emergency happens, you're never going to have the perfect situation. So just in case the lights are off, come in here, tap that light and that way you can easily see the combination. Now I mentioned I'm using the trigger blocks instead of the breech block. The reason I'm doing that is because of how I want to stage the shotgun. Now the way I prefer to stage my shotgun is you make sure visually and physically inspect it to make sure it's completely empty. 
you're going to pull the trigger, then you're going to load your ammunition into the magazine tube. What that does is when you get your shotgun out of the shot lock, all you have to do is and you're ready to shoot. You don't have to worry about engaging the release because you've already pulled the trigger. Now if you were to use the breech block with a pump shotgun, you have to put it in like this, which means when you take it out of the shot lock, you have to go forward, then engage your release, and then rack it. It takes a lot more time, a lot more fine motor skills, and in an emergency situation, you just might not be able to do that very well. Now, as you can see, you can keep your shotgun pretty concealed, especially if you have some clothes hanging in front of it. Now, I'm just going to demonstrate how to deploy the shotgun when you need it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you go over and check out my other video on how I set up my bedside gun. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe and protect your home.